Oh man, huge news. going on everybody how are y'all doing i hope you guys are having a great end of your week happy friday we're here we have some epic 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 nintendo switch news for you dudes and dudettes but before we get started give the video a thumbs up you already know let's get it to 150 likes let's do it right now all right we have some bangers for this video and the first one is huge news for the super mario movie <laughs> we went the opening day went with my kids we loved it loved oh let me get let me show y'all the cool popcorn tin hey we lit boy we got the question mark popcorn box the movie was dope from beginning to end it was made for nintendo fans specifically mario fans if you have been a long i feel like the movie was made for me so excellent but the news item is super mario movie is looking to an estimated global start of over 300 million dollars in revenue that is crazy this is coming from movie site deadline that the movie is currently looking at a 300 and over a 300 million dollar profit um uh, revenue at it during its opening days bro that is crazy it, it's already the best um most viewed animated films in i think 11 global markets so it's breaking records and just a dope movie, man. It was so fun taking my kids. They leave for my, my three-year-old, my youngest daughter. You know, how if you have a three-year-old, the attention span of three-year-olds are like all over the place. But she was engaged and just like watching the whole movie. She was like, wow. And my kids, my older kids loved it. Of course, I loved it. So dope, dope, dope. I'm glad to see. Now, the critics score on Rotten Tomato last time I saw it was like 54%. But the fan score on rotten tomatoes is like over like 97 percent some ridiculous number that everyone who's watching the movie is loving it so dope 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 i'm glad to see that um it's going well for the movie now we have another one the next news item bro the nintendo switch family of systems is still the king of the charts in Japan for a couple weeks in a row now. <coughs> Nintendo Switch hardware. The Switch OLED model is at 38,000. Uh, the PlayStation 5 um, physical, 28,000. Base Switch, 10,000. Switch Lite, 7,000. Um, PlayStation 5 digital, 6,000. So long story short, the Switch is still killing it in Japan. This is crazy six years in the market out still outpace oh i pre-ordered that pro controller Woo! still outpacing the new console the shiny ps5 the more powerful ps5 man when that switch 2 drops it's gonna be crazy for nintendo man more powerful hardware with those first party games already banging it's going to be even better and we get more third party support so good to see that nintendo is still 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 killing it when it comes to hardware sales put respect on their name the reason why i'm showing this trailer is nintendo announced a new switch oled that zelda tears of the kingdom oh it looks so clean oh i'm so tempted to get it but nah, man, I'm rocking with my Splatoon 3 OLED until the new Switch 2 goes out. I have two OLEDs, like eight Switches. Um, the Switch version 2, like, I got the special edition Mario Switch. I bought a couple Switch lights. I'm good, bro. <laughs> I got too many Switch consoles. 
but I'm good to see that the switch is still killing it in sales now we have another one this next news item is pretty pretty dope bro y'all do not forget that my favorite game of all time if you've been rocking with your boy my favorite game of all time i mean since video games ever been created final fantasy one on the nes and it's coming to the switch in a couple of days final fantasy pixel remaster is coming to the switch april 19th and i cannot wait i gotta remind y'all i believe you could get each game uh individually it's a collection of the classic 2d uh, final fantasy games i'm just getting final fantasy one the one on the nes and we're gonna play that from beginning to end let's see what i remember in the game oh, oh my goodness and so i just can't wait i can't wait i can't wait um the 19th day one easy peasy eloise bro this next news item another one is pretty pretty fire nintendo just dropped on their official youtube channel an advanced wars reboot one and two overview trailer i gotta check it out we have to check it out this is gonna be my live reaction y'all didn't think we we're gonna do a live reaction in a non-live video well you got it right now dj direct cut the beat all right let's check this out bro Adam recruit i gotta see this bro i'm hyped for this game this is another day one buy two day one buys in april Ten hut. Up and Ten hut. Recruit. Today begins your basic training for the finally this game has been game. delayed forever this game features tactical turn-based battles tactical turn-based bro it's funny I never played these games, but I played the spiritual successor to these games on the GameCube. Um, Battalion Wars. Battalion Wars. Bro, if you've never played Battalion Wars, oh my goodness, you're missing out. I've beaten Battalion Wars 1 and 2. It's these games, but like, it's still strategy and tactical, but like you're actually controlling the soldiers from a third person perspective. Bro, Battalion Wars, one of their greatest games nintendo ips the most underrated not greatest but the most underrated nintendo ips bring back battalion wars nintendo on the gamecube Re remastered like you did metro prime all right let's go we'll keep you on your toes we'll cover some strategies to make sure all right, let's see. Top shape. yeah give me some strategy bro all right troops roll out roll out while you work your two full campaigns you'll control several different commanding officers let's go commonly referred to as co's your mission defending from opposing nations let's go but before we get into the nitty-gritty let's make sure you understand i gotta understand let's go know the basics of battle are grid -based, all right grid base only move a certain number of spaces per turn by fire emblem depending on their type some units can cover more distance and others have advantages on different terrain Ooh. for example soldiers can only move so far because they're on foot yeah but vehicles can cover a lot more ground that makes sense now, when it comes to crossing a forest or mountain range okay more soldiers are better suited for the trek march march a units type also determines its range of attack okay infantry units can only attack adjacent enemies okay but artillery units can cause damage from further away oh As units take damage and lose hp they'll also inflict less damage on their foes oh the weaker you the are join units the less together, effective you are them back up and cool replenishing their ammo all right cool once your units have acted and you end the turn your opponent and gets to make their moves okay Oh yeah, five, five. Now, let's cover how you can gain the tactical advantage. Tactical advantage. In a typical battle, you'll need to capture your opponent's HQ or okay. defeat all their units to secure the win. I fire emblem. We have a good number of units on the battlefields, but we can. Or maybe fire emblem is like this game. By selecting one of your controlled bases, you can build more units, assuming you have the funds more controlled gotcha. equals more moolah that's like those computer um tactical games units that are i used to play those very casually there's no such thing as the perfect army 
So I recommend experimenting with all types to adapt to the situation. Cool. I'm hyped for this game. This is gonna be dope, man. This is a perfect mobile game. Oh, what are CO powers? During exchanges with your opponents, this meter will fill up, and you'll be able to use a CO power. All right. Extraordinary abilities that, when used at the right it's like, time, it's a special? can turn the tide of battle. Double time. The Orange Star's Andy can use a CO power called Hyper Repair. Okay. This restores HP to all his units and increases Yeah, this is like special. Ready for attack. Eagle of the Green Earth, Earth Army has a CO power called Lightning Strike, Ooh. which allows his units that have already acted to move again. Oh, double movement. There's a wide variety of CO powers at your disposal. Blizzard. So figure out which best suit Enhanced your play style. Boom. This game way, just looks fun, man. Like it's going to be a fun game. A couple handy new features. Want to speed up the action? Just hold down the ZR button to cruise through dialogue oh, and combat animations. You can speed up. Fast forward. There's also a shiny new reset turn option that allows you to, you guessed it, reset the current turn. Let's go. Turn. We're going to be using that. Whatever. Following along so far? Good, because we're not done yet. Hoorah! If the campaign isn't enough for you, then try your hand at the War Room. War Room. Here you can test your tactical prowess in a wide array of different challenges with the CO of your choice. Try to get the top ranking. Still want more? Then try more. versus Ooh. Square off locally against up to three human or computer oh, that's dope. on one Nintendo uh, Let me guess, this game has also its online multiplayer? Wirelessly across four systems if each player has the game. Looking for more colorful battles elsewhere? Then take online? your tactical mind to the internet in online. Online, that's dope. Your friend can compete head to head in an all-out tactical tussle. Online battle. You need a Nintendo Switch system and the game, as well as active Nintendo Switch Online memberships. S Switch Online. There are a few other modes where you can spend some time. That's dope. It has online multiplayer. Create and share your own Here, custom, you maps. custom maps. That's dope. That's dope too. Or through a local wireless a 2D Zelda maker. Also pay a visit to the local that's what this all reminds. This Hachi that's what this shot. reminds me of. The Orange Star Army's local chatterbox Hachi is ready and willing to separate you from your in-game coins in exchange for additional battle maps, COs who can be used in the war room and multiplayer modes, and cool. more. Finally, there's an in-game. Gallery. Gallery. Significant artwork you've obtained from Hachi Shah, among other assorted sundries. It's a great way to reminisce and relive fond memories. <clears throat> Attention! All right, recruit. We've reached the end of your training. Ready to show off right, everything was you've learned? Hey, you've got what it takes hype for this game, game man. April 21st. Marches on to Nintendo Switch April 21st. April 21st you should be dope. to deploy on launch day by pre-ordering the game on Nintendo Hey, e we're going to pre-order. We're going to be ready. All right. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 going to be dope. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro... Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this. But hey, man, I got to say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit smaller level his channel when i look at it it's such a nostalgia trip and he has a really cool audience too man and if you could show this nigga some love too that'd be awesome i don't shout people out unless i like them a lot a lot i'm picky with that but, um anyways my boy obi-1 your boy obi-1 hey man i got you right here my boy get that man a little bit of a look man he reminds me of me when i was smaller you want to take a look in the past my boy this is the way you do it i got the you jedi homie. Master the right jedi master, master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. I got you, homie. Dedicating a workout set. Boy, let's go, guys. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-eight. He said, "Hey, no, Dad."